Let's get some stuff moved, shall we? Now, now we can pull the sequoia in, open the doors all the way, finish working. So much happier with this now. Now I just got to clean up the rest of this place, right? Definitely gained some more space out of moving both of the autoclaves and the medical examiner's table. Plenty of space. Around the front, super happy. Yeah, that's enough room for both the doors to open. It's completely open. All right, gonna do some work without freaking out too much. Already done a bit of work. I'm okay with this fabric color, so we're gonna go ahead and cut it to match, make it look like one of these panels. Uh, glued in the lights. Lights are in. We got our camping gear, shovels and axes, ropes, tools, and then the rest of those are going to be filled with clothes and cooking wear, things like that. Oh, I can finally do this now. Oh, oh I love being a genius. So, she looks great and all, but it's not level. So I'm going to have to bring up those rears, bring them up just a little bit. And then we'll be able to put the battery housing and the power switches and all that there. Maybe even put the switches like right here so I can turn them on. It means I got to open the door, but who cares, right? I mean, what are my other options on putting the switch? I try to put it up there, then we have to reach over here anytime I want to do anything. It's pretty big and bulky. Thought about putting it in there, that little pocket. We could actually use that pocket 
and I figure the closer it is to the battery, the better. Right. On a side note, BJ. BJ Sport. Yeah. This is 125 Honda stuff. This ain't no joke. This is for seriousness. We've got a few sets here that I can I can play with. Anybody need some 317 heads or 83 millimeter turbos? Pretty close so far. Stuck our sleeping beds under the bed to give us more cushion without having to add more foam. Right? That way if we don't like it, we can pull <laughs> all of our bin boxes. Ooh, she got two in there. And there's the axes and shovels, tool kit, sunshade, killer roof rack. Oh, I love that thing. It's massive. And then I just got to make some brackets to support those legs to the bed so it doesn't go forward when we hit the brakes. Go ahead and leave the truck here because it's cool in here and it's hot outside. I'm beat. Made some fork parts. Gonna take some crap home. Ronnell, I made it better. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know I try my best. Uh, yeah, man, not much left. I got a couple of boxes more of these forks and uh, finish up the wiring for the Sequoia. Put it all together and get out of town, right? I got a lot of you in California would love me to visit. I might, might go to California for a week or so. Um, thinking about going to Las Vegas again. Just to hang out with Jake and Jared. You guys are awesome. I, uh, I did not like being in Caesars Palace or all that busyness. I want to go for some trails and rides. And my bikes are good for about 20 to 30 miles now. So I think we can hang. And then uh, Utah. I loved Utah. I want to go to Utah again. Grand Canyon again. Maybe climb some mountains. I want to go to Red Rock and ride that again. That was dope. I don't know. Give me some suggestions. I was thinking about going to uh, Virginia. I got a couple of people out there in Virginia. And I got my great aunt in Georgia and a lot of people in Florida. Armand moved to Florida. <laughs> You're only going to be happier there unless you come to Texas. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe modify the heck out of these razors. See what I can do and then start making my own stuff. Wee. Having fun, having fun. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that. So this bike rack, it's for bicycles, right? I think I want to cut it, use that swing arm piece and put it under the jack rack so I can swing out a table. Might be a waste of metal, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, I'm all ears. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing. Buy more of my stuff.